What's up guys? Where you been? Well, more importantly, where have I been? Had a bit of time off for the last two or three months, as you probably noticed, but I'm so glad you're still here and still following the channel. Hope you grab this new video that I've got for you today. I'm gonna to get back on track and give you some more interesting things as we go through the rest of this year. Slightly different format as well. That's partly because I had a bit of creator burnout, which is quite common to us guys here on YouTube. You get to a point where you've just kind of had enough and want to throw in the towel. Now, that's not why I created the YouTube channel, and I want to keep creating more and more videos that are really useful for you and something you can implement and action and take away. So I'm gonna try and a new format out, keep it short, keep it punchy, and give you something you really need. Now, why have I also disappeared? Well, part of that is I also work on film and TV projects, as I've probably mentioned once or twice on the channel. Now, if that's something you'd like me to talk about a bit more, drop a note in the comments below, and I can talk about that to my heart's content. But certainly what I learn in my acting courses and in my warrior training courses with the British Action Academy is all really transferable skills and it teaches you a lot about yourself, your resilience, your motivation and really what you're capable of. One of the things I did with the London Axes workshop was a 12 week uh, workshop course and at the end of that we filmed a showreel scene which is going to come out soon hopefully the editing is just being finished up that was quite an intense process towards the end because sometimes on filming you've got to be on set by or be at location by about five o'clock in the morning and you don't finish till eight nine o'clock at night sometimes you're on night shoots as well literally working all through the night so by the time you put in an 18 hour day, there's not much time left to come back and put in some time to film a YouTube video. Ooh. Now in my first year on the YouTube, I've done a lot of work and I've put a lot of effort into some of the videos. Some of them have taken me a couple of days to produce uh, end to end for something like a 10 minute video. Hey, that's pretty good. It's because I like to spend a lot of time on the editing. I like to spend a lot of time on the research and really put the work in to give something meaty and condensed in the final product but it takes time so one of the challenges i've had and what i've enjoyed in my hiatus over the last couple of months is really reflecting on that and looking at what i can do how i can do it better and how i can do it more consistently and now i come back with a kind of renewed energy a renewed fervor and sort of passion because i really want to make more videos that are here for you that are actionable short, sweet, and simple. Okay, today's gonna to be a bit longer because I'm explaining and apologizing why I've disappeared for a couple of months. The following videos are gonna be nice, short, and sweet. Hey, that's pretty good. So if you're glad to see me back, hit the like button. It'll tell YouTube that I'm back in business. It really sends a signal to say this channel's back and we're here to stay. Uh, if you really wanna know what's going on, hit the subscribe button as well and click that little notification bell so you're notified every time I put a video out. I'm hoping that I'll keep to a nice tight schedule this time because I have a slightly different format going forward, but you never know with a film business. You can get a last minute call and your day is gone. So click that notification bell and you'll never miss a video, even if it doesn't come out exactly on the schedule as I planned. Thank you. So what am I gonna be doing? Well, I'm actually gonna be sharing a lot of the learning and training that I've been doing uh, on a week by week basis and over the years. That'll be from other master coaches, people like Brendan Burchard, T. Harbecker, and so on. And pick up where we left off and really make the life of your dreams a reality. Now, I mentioned Brendan Bouchard a little while ago and he was speaking about courage to me this week on his Courage Habit Builder program. So I'll let you have a listen to what he said here. High performers are doing that courageously. 
When they think of them as best selves, they're stepping into their best selves. When they think of a vision, they're not thinking of a tiny vision, they're thinking of a bold, courageous vision. When they're thinking of the, the skills they want to develop, they're not just saying, I want to get good at it. They're saying, I want to be world class at that. And I'm going to put myself outside of my comfort zones to develop that skill or that strength that I don't currently have. It takes courage to develop a new skill. It takes courage to want to be better and actually try. It takes courage to see a big, bold vision for yourself that is not possible today. And that really gave me the kick up the bum to get this channel back in action and do all the things I've been thinking about over the last three or four weeks and make it a reality. So I have my grand vision back in my sights. I'm not gonna procrastinate anymore. I'm not gonna put it off. I'm gonna make that a reality. And part of that reality is making these videos for you to help you step into the life of your dreams. I'm also going to be building a learning library which will go up on my website in due course. Now that's quite a big task and it will take a little bit of time so I'd recommend you again click that notification bell because I'll be telling you about that here as we progress and I'll also be giving you more information on that on my mailing list which you can sign up to over on my website. What's your grand vision though? Comment below and let me know what are you going to step into? What is the new you that you're going to become that is going to make that life a reality that you keep saying one day or what if? Well, let's make one day today because time will pass anyway. So what's stopping you? So comment below and let me know you are actually going to take action this year. If you want to check out my acting work, I've got another YouTube channel that I put up monologues and a few bits and pieces on that it's not going to be as active as this one but feel free to go and check that out as well but that's it from me today so this is edward signing out